morning, Fountain of Life. So good to see you this morning. Good morning. And, uh, um, we were really hoping to be with you in church this morning, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, it's not happening. And so we are here this morning on online, and uh, we just want to say good good morning to everyone. And I want you to enjoy this meeting with us. I've got a special word for you this morning. And that word comes from Psalm chapter 40. So let me quickly introduce what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk this morning about waiting upon God. It's so important for us to wait upon God and to know that He is our strength and our source. And we, we cannot wait for the government. We cannot wait for the doctor's report. But the one thing we can wait upon is our God. Yes. So uh, please enjoy this with us this morning, and I pray that as we go through this word, that your spirit will be encouraged, it will uh, be strengthened, and that you will know the strength of waiting on God. So I'm going to take you to Psalms chapter 40 this morning, and I'm going to read some scriptures for you this morning, and um, I'm not going to read the whole psalm, but I'll cover a, a good part of it. And so in verse 1 it says, I waited patiently for the Lord, and He inclined to me, and heard my cry. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit, mm -hmm. out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock. That rock is Jesus. And established my steps. He has put a new song in my mouth. Praise to our God. Many will see it and fear and will trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust and does not respect the proud and such as turn aside to lies. Many, O Lord my God, are your wonderful works which you have done and your thoughts towards us cannot be recounted. To you in order. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but my ears you have opened. Burned offerings and sin offerings you did not require. Then I said, Behold, I come. In the scroll of the book it is written of me. I delight. To do your will, O oh my God, and your laws is within my heart. I have proclaimed the good news of righteousness in the great assembly. Indeed, I do not restrain my lips, O oh Lord, you yourself know. I have not hidden your righteousness within my heart. I have declared your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your loving kindness and your truth from the great assembly. So isn't that just great to, to hear how God has really just come through for David and how David makes some promises unto God. So I want us to this morning know that if you wait upon God, he will really come through to through for you. Yes. Um, be persistent. In this because David has been trying to wait upon God from chapter 25 right through to chapter 39 but because he knew that his strength where his strength come from in chapter 40 God came through for him and in verse 1 immediately gives us the result of waiting mm -hmm. and that result is that God heard his cry I want to say to you this morning you might be crying towards God uh, for a miracle it doesn't matter what. I want to tell you this morning that God is hearing you. Yes. He's hearing your cry this morning. Mm -hmm. So keep on waiting upon God. He is our salvation. He is the way forward for us in this life. So I want to commit that we will wait upon God. And I feel that as we cry towards God this morning, uh, that even in this message, when you hear this message, that God's going to answer your cry. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to understand 
that God will take you from one place and put you in another place. So even as a church, Fountain of Life, we can start waiting upon God. Not just in a personal way. We can as a family wait upon God. We can wait as a church upon God because the Word of God says when we wait upon Him, He will turn towards us and hear our cry. And this is really so um, wow for me that God will in His in His greatness yes. get to a place where He stops and turns because He hears your cry. Yes. And then He then then He comes to you and He gives you what He has promised. Mm -hmm. uh, I pray that every word that has been spoken over your life will come to fulfillment mm -hmm. as you wait upon God. So I want us to get to a place where we wait upon God and cry out to God because the outcome will be very good and victorious. Mm -hmm. And let's take us to verse 2. Can you just quickly remind us about verse 2? He also brought me up out of a horrible pit, mm. out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my steps. Let's listen to that. He took us out of a horrible pit. When I, when I was preparing this word, I thought, how many of us are in that horrible pit? Yes. Uh, fear takes us to a, that pit. Uh, how many of us are treading clay this morning? The miry clay. I, I went and thought, why miry clay? And it's because when you walk in clay, it sucks you in. It holds you back. You cannot do what you want to do. You cannot move like you want to move. Mm -hmm. But I want to tell you this morning that God is taking you out of that horrible pit. He's taking you out of that miry clay. And he's putting you on a rock. A rock. A rock, the rock of ages, yes. Jesus Christ. There's nothing more secure than standing on that rock. And when we, when we on that rock, when He brings us and puts us on that rock, from there on, our steps are established yes. it, by Him and through Him. Yes. So, do you want your steps to be established by God? Amen. I want that for sure in my yes. life. So. But to get there, you need to get out of the clay, eh? You need yes. to get out of that pit, and you need to get to the rock, which is Jesus Christ. So do not let fear take hold of you. Mm -hmm. Do not let uh, fear put you in that pit, because fear will put you in the pit. Doubt will put you in the clay. But I want to pray this morning that your fear will be changed into faith, and that your hope, and that your doubt will be changed into hope this morning. Yes. I want you to know there is hope in this world. Uh, and that hope's name is Jesus Christ. Amen. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So what does uh, verse 3 tell us then? He has put a new song in my mouth. Praise to our God. Many will see it and fear and will trust in the Lord. A new song. A new song. If our steps are established, we walk in God's ways, we cannot but have a new song in our hearts. So I won't try and sing you a new song now, but I'll, what I can tell you is that there is already a new song going out there yes. because of God in our lives, because of God in our, in our church. Uh, every Sunday morning when we worship, you can hear a new song going out to God, a new song of praise, a new song of worship, a new song in tongues that we can sing unto God. But I want you guys to start practicing this new song at home also, that you will have time to sing a new song because of the grace and the mercy of God upon our lives, Amen. because of the fact that it took us out of that miry yes. clay, took us out of that pit, and now we are upon the rock. And that's why we can sing a new song and to him and i can guarantee you as you sing that new song you, your strength will be restored in jesus name and then we get to verse four yeah. blessed is that man 
who makes the Lord his trust, and does not respect the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Do you want to be a blessed man? Yes. Or woman? <laughs> yes. Yeah, for sure. I want to be I want to be blessed. And there's only one way to be blessed, and that is making the Lord your trust. Yes. Making the Lord your rock, making the Lord your salvation. So start trusting in God. Amen. Start waiting upon God. Wait with perseverance upon God, and He will come through. I I want to say again, I, I love the way to think that God just turns and hears my cry and He comes towards me and yes. answers that prayer. Yes. Man, we are blessed. Amen. We are so blessed in these times. You you are so blessed this morning just to breathe in this fresh air yes. just to know that god is with you so i pray that you will know that you are blessed Amen. by jesus christ that takes us to verse five many O lord my god are your wonderful works mm. which you have done and your thoughts towards us cannot be recounted to you in order. If I would declare and speak on them, they are more than can be numbered. Amen. His wonderful works towards us. Yes. And there, his thoughts. there are so many. Yes. There's so many. Just in this last few minutes, there was wonderful works over your life. Just hearing the voice of God through me, through through my wife. Is God speaking already to you and saying that I'm going to take you out of that pit. I'm going to take you out of that miry clay. I'm going to bless you, my son, my daughter, this morning. And that's so exciting to, to know. And then, of course, there's so many thoughts from God towards yes. us. Yes. The Bible says unnumbered. Yeah, it cannot what, be numbered. What are you thinking about this morning? Where are your thoughts? I want to pray that your thoughts will come back into line with that what God has in store for you this morning. Yes. Let our thoughts also be great. Let our thoughts be wonderful towards ourselves and one another this morning as God's thoughts are numberless this morning. And then we take, then we go to verse 6 and 7 where the word of God says it, it, it doesn't require sacrifice. It doesn't require offerings from us, but it says that our ears will be opened. And I thought, what does this mean? Our ears will be opened. And you know what? It is to be obedient. Yes. God, God wants obedience this morning more than sacrifice. Yes. Is sacrifice important? Yes. Is offering important? Yes. But God wants obedience more this morning. Yes. And I want to be obedient to God's word. Mm -hmm. I want to be obedient to what God wants in my life. And so to sacrifice to God is not always what he wants, but what he always wants is a willing soul, an obedient soul that will do his will. Yes. And uh, let's walk in that obedience the way God wants us to live, not the way the world wants us to live, yes. but God's, God's ways. So my ears you have opened. Jesus wants us to listen to him and surrender to him as a willing slave surrenders to his master. That means that slave will do anything his master says. And I want us to know that God is our master. He is our king. He is our Lord. And whenever he speaks, we will obey. Yes. Uh, I want you this morning to say, Lord, I will obey when you speak. Because that's so important that uh, we will obey through while we obey there will be times that we will sacrifice yes. there will be times that we will do offerings unto him but in our obedience we will go where god wants us to go yes. and we will surrender all unto him that's what it means to be obedient to surrender to our god so verse 8 says I delight to do your will, O oh my God, and your law is within my heart. We must get to that point where we start delighting in the things of God. Uh, 
I'm saying this especially this morning because when you think about it, when you when you talk with people around you, when you when you see people around you, do you really show them that you delight in the ways of God? And that's quite challenging uh, yes. this morning to to know that we need to even delight in the things of God. This means in tough times we need to delight in God. In good times we can delight in God yes. but we need to get to that place and with all of this said knowing that God is always there for us I want you I want to take you to verse 9 this morning and see what we have to do as God's people I have proclaimed the good news of righteousness in the great assembly indeed I do not restrain my lips O oh Lord, you yourself know. I will proclaim the good works of God. In our days, in the New Testament, this is in the Old Testament, it said, um, they said proclaiming the good news of righteousness. In the New Testament, we read preaching the gospel of God, yes. sharing the gospel of God. Yes. I want to challenge you this morning that you will start being a testimony to those around you yes. use that strength use that which is which is inside of you and take that to the persons around you to your family around you we are a family that lives in fear we are friends that lives in fear we can see this world is in fear yes but i want you this morning to be a testimony unto god Amen. and to say that all things are possible yes through Christ Jesus that lives inside of us, yes. upon we upon which we stand, the rock yes. that will not uh, give in underneath us, but that our steps will be established by God and by His ways. So it takes us to verse 10. Will you read verse 10 yes. for us quickly then? I have not hidden your righteousness within my heart. I have declared your faithfulness and your salvation i have not concealed your loving kindness and your truth from the great assembly i will testify testimony yes do you know how important your testimony is yes and i want to really say this morning that you guys are the voice of god in our nation amen you are the voice of God in our city and you are the voice of God amongst your family. So be like the word of God says in verse 10. Be that voice that will not hide his righteousness in our hearts. We will not be a people that will hide his righteousness within our hearts. And we have declared your faithfulness and your salvation. We declare your faithfulness this morning, Father God. Yes. Because you are good, a good, good father unto Amen. us. And we have not concealed our loving kindness and your truth from those around us. I pray that this will be a, your portion this morning. That you will not conceal this, but you will speak freely about Amen. the gospel of God and what God is doing for us. And if we do this, this means proclaiming the word of God, preaching the gospel to all around us, being obedient to what God wants. So I'm going to take you to Isaiah chapter 40 and just show, show you again in another chapter the benefits, where we are going to end up when we wait upon God. So can you read that for us from verse 28, please? Have you not known? Have you not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary his understanding is unsearchable he gives power to the weak and to those who have no might he increases strength even the youth shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall but those who wait on the lord shall renew their strength Amen. they shall mount up with wings like eagles they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. Amen. That is a good promise. Yes. I want to say to you this morning, 
that you will rise up on the wings of eagles. You will soar higher than anyone else because of Christ that lives within you. I want to say this morning that you will run and not grow weary. Yes. You will walk and you and not faint. So that is a new measure of strength that God is giving unto us in these days. I want to declare it over you, fountain of life, this morning. As you wait upon God, all this will happen to you. Yes. So I just felt this is the word for this morning. I just wanted to bless you and, and say that as we wait upon God, yes. He will turn and hear our cry. Amen. And let us be those who cry unto God this morning for salvation for our country, for healing for our nation and for healing for our people this morning. So I'd like to pray for us this morning. And Father, I just pray, Lord, that you will be pleased to deliver us yes. in this day, that you will just haste in helping us this morning, Father God, that uh, wherever we are, in whatever pit we are, Father God, that you will take us out and let us who seek you rejoice and be glad in you uh, because of what you are doing in our lives, Father God, let us say in these times that, Lord, you be magnified. Mm -hmm. Father, you be magnified this morning. And, uh, Lord, think upon us. Think upon me, Father God. Think upon fountain of life this morning, God. Yes, uh, you are our help. You are our deliverer. You are our salvation this morning. I pray, Lord, do not delay anymore, Father God, but come down in a mighty way. I thank you, Lord, that the heavens will be opened above us, Father God, that your grace will be established upon us, that your mercies will be new every morning unto us, Father God. But Father, I pray that we will become a people that will wait upon you, Father yes, God. Lord. We will not do our own thing. We will not run, a, run ahead of schedule, Father God, but we will wait upon you and do what you want us to do. I pray for those in Fountain of Life this morning that are in a horrible pit mm -hmm. and that are, that are tre treading in that miry clay, Father God. I pray, Lord, come turn towards them this morning, Father God, and yes. take them out of that miry clay. Yes. Take them out of that pit this morning, Father God, and uh, let your salvation be in their lives, Father yes. God. Let your strength just fall upon them. Let your mercy just fall upon them this morning, Father yes. God. And Father, we thank you for freedom this morning. We thank you, Lord, that you will turn faith, uh, fear into faith this morning. Yes. I thank you, Lord, that you will turn doubt this morning into hope. Mm. And, and that uh, people will rise up, Father God, mm. and start talking about you. They will not hold back righteousness, your righteousness. They will not hold back your loving kindness. They will not hold back your word that has been spoken over them. Yes. But I pray this morning, Lord, that they will release all that you have given unto them to those around them also. So, Father, I pray even as we pray for people around us, that we will see your miraculous hand working, yours, your healing power flowing through them, Father God. Yes. Uh, and not just for sickness, Father God, but in the Spirit also. Father, heal us to get to a place where we know that we can trust on you. Yes. And let us wait upon you. And as we wait upon you, Lord, our strength be renewed, that we will mount up on wings like eagles, and that we will run and not be weary, and that we will walk and not faint. So, Father, we just thank you for your love. And we thank you, Lord, that you always hear when we cry. And so, Lord, we just acknowledge this morning that you are King, and that you are Lord, and that you are everything in our lives. And we thank you, especially this morning, Lord, even though it's online, that we can... Uh, Thank you for Fountain of Life Church. Yes. We thank you, Lord, for the move that you are doing in our church, yes. the, the movement that you are creating in our church. I just pray, Lord, that it will just ignite so much faster, Lord, that, your, that what you have in store will come. I thank you for your strength and your mercy and your grace upon our lives. And I pray, Lord, bless us now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So there we go. I want you guys to wait upon the, the Lord. I want you guys to rise up on the wings of eagles. I want you guys to run. I want you guys to walk strong and not faint, not grow weary, because God is with you. Yes. Is there anything else you want to say? I just want to confirm that word, that God is with us. 
And why, how do we wait patiently on the Lord? It is by reading the Word of God, by absolutely believing the words that is in there, the, the promises that God Amen. has given us. There's so many promises in His Word, and His Word says that He is not a man that He should lie. And this is how we wait patiently on God, by spending time in His Word, by listening to worship music. Uh, when we cannot get together as a church and we miss those times, yeah. then we listen to His Word. We, we uh, spend time in prayer. We spend time, as, as my husband has said, in listening to what God is saying to us. And we are obedient and we put our feet upon that rock and that's how we will run and not grow weary. That's how we will receive wings to fly as eagles. So I bless you this morning. We wish we could have been with you. But in this time, even in this time, God is with us. Even if nobody else is with you, remember that God is with you. Amen. So I want to say unto you this morning, your cry is heard Amen. by God. Amen. And he will come through for you in these days. Yes. You better believe it because I believe it. Yes. And I want you also to believe it. Yes. So be blessed. Uh, um, I'm going to ask Amanda to play a little video after this. It's a testimony that I heard yesterday on social media. And I want to show you that God even listens to the smallest of requests. Yes. Take, take that and build upon that and know that God will always turn back to you if you wait upon God. Yes. So be blessed. Have a wonderful um, Sunday. And uh, keep us in your prayer. Keep the leaders, Pastor Jan and Anna, in your prayers. And the church in your prayers. And we, we pray that God will just come through for you yes. in this level 4 lockdown that we have. Pray that God will protect your business. I pray yes. that God will protect your job. Yes. I pray that God will protect your family in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. and amen. Be blessed. Cheers. Bye.